There are certain words uh, that are not the best to use. Um, and so this, uh, it's a funny topic. Uh, obviously one of those words is the N word. Um, and so I guess the whole thing started for me was wondering, you know, cause like there's this part, it's like, well, you know, that obviously the word has a history to it. Um, and then, but now it is used in um, a lot in say rap music, something that I'm a big fan of. Um, and, uh, but still, um, some people, they take a, a lot of offense if you were to use this word and you are not of that race of people. And so, you know, you could look at it and be like, oh, well, this is a double standard or like, you know, hypocritical or whatever. But I mean, so I spent a bit of time, um, seeking to understand this, uh, dichotomy this uh this issue for myself and so basically um the way that i understand it is that it's kind of like um say if you say like i have uh, an ex-girlfriend um i have a few and so i have friends guy friends and you know when i talk with them at no point is it um is it is it uh are they at no point is it acceptable for them to bad mouth my exes i mean i don't bad mouth um people in my life because um what is it it's like when you talk poorly about somebody else behind their back when you call somebody a name whether what you're saying uh, is true or not is to be said, but what is for certain is that you are definitely the kind of person who talks bad about people behind their back and, and talks about people and says nasty things and runs their mouth with words and whatnot. So that's a, that's a thing, right? And so, um, you know, you, you can't do that. And another way to kind of relate to that too is so it's like, I got a buddy and he has a house and there's all, we go there sometimes, you, we have parties there and sometimes there's like, you know, there's a workshop and it's, sometimes it's a pretty big mess, right? And so, but the thing is, is that it's, it's their mess. It's not your mess. So yeah, you can go there and you can like use the workshop, but you cannot go there and leave a mess and say, oh, well, it's a mess. What does it matter? It's their mess, not your mess. And you know, like with my ex-girlfriends, that's my mess, not your mess. You do not get to add to it. And so say with this word, with the, the N word, I don't, you know, I'm certainly not going to say it right now. I mean, um, and like, it, it's, it's, it's their mess, you know, they, it is something. So, so it's just, I don't know. I, I, I take it as it is, um, off limits, you know, it's, it's tough because there, there's a lot tied up in, in that. And so you have to be considerate, you know, there's a lot of people and, you know, different people feel different ways. So you go with the lowest common denominator, just meaning you make things simple. Just don't say it. If there's a chance that it's going to really deeply offend somebody, regardless of what their understanding is and whatnot, you know what? Just don't. Just err on the side of caution and just don't use a word that is clearly deeply offensive to certain people. It's none of your business why they feel that way. You know, you can just not right it makes a difference and so there's yeah there, there's other words too there's another word that's like that word that people use and it's like you know it's just not acceptable anymore you know times times change and so you have to change with them you can't just be like oh well it used to be okay so you know there was a a word so this kind of whole thing came up again because so there's this I get like hip hop emails because that's how I stay in touch with things. It's like I don't watch the news or anything, but I do 
I stay in touch with hip hop and I stay in touch with art and I stay in touch with science. That is my way to not just completely disconnect myself from the world. And so like there was this rapper, Lizzo is her name. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but so she used the word spaz in in a lyric, in, in one of her rhymes, and she received a, a lot of uh, flack for it, negative attention. People saying like, you know, you shouldn't use it. And it's like, you know, I've used this, I grew up with this word spaz. You know, it, as a kid, it means that it's like, you know, you push somebody too much, they'll spaz. I was like, you don't want to seem spaz. It just means like the person kind of like, you know, they will let loose. They're not going to hold back and you could get copped, you know, you you get hit or whatever because the person's going bananas. So it's just like, and so the, the issue with this word is that so spastic uh, can be used um, to describe certain conditions that um, people may have where they have uh, involuntary control of their muscles. And like that is essentially what the word means. I mean, like it, it comes from uh, the Latin spasmodicus or the Greek spasmodis. And it it's like means done in brief irregular bursts. And then, you know, more modern definition is certainly to do with uh, muscle spasms and whatnot. And then there's people who might have a condition, um, but, you know, it can be used to describe um, a, a lot of things, just like the word, which is, you have to be very careful with, but uh, the word is retard. And it, say like, say like fire retardant, a fire retardant material. It's like something that slows down. But the, the issue is, is that people, some people use, some people even made a song about it, um, which I heard on the radio today. Let's get it started or uh, somewhere. But you know, and they used that word, and unfortunately, it was used in a derogatory manner. So, like, you just have, it's not like you can't, but you got to be really careful what you're doing. And it's like, and why are you doing it? Is there not another word that is, you know, with that you're not running the risk of, um, of it being taken the wrong way? Because, like, who wants drama and conflict? You know, I certainly don't. And so, that's the thing, you know, and, like, there are other words um, you know, there's, there's a word that used to mean a bundle of sticks, but now it relate our people as it's been used for a while, I uh, re is in relation to a homosexual person and not in a friendly way, you know, it's, it's a slur. And so it's like, you know, that one's gotta, you know, it's not acceptable anymore. Um, you know, it's even just like the word gay it used to mean happy, or I guess it still does, but it got used in a sense, in a derogatory sense. And it's just like, you know, and they might use it amongst themselves, but that's their business. It's just like, you know, you can't, you can't call a person who, who is bigger, you can't call them fat. They might call themselves fat, but you can't label them you can't use that term and like you i might be uh slender i might be but you can't call me skinny you know i would take offense to it if you said you know oh well you're you know people uh say oh you're a bean pole or you're a stick or you know you're um you know just something some kind of a slur it's just like you know what i'm a healthy i'm super healthy this is what an athlete looks like i don't know if you've ever you know, seeing what a runner looks like, but it's something like this. I'm not saying I'm like the best, but it's like, man, I'm not like, like somebody who is just like completely emaciated. Like I, I really, you know, so it's like, you can't, you can't just use that label. And I think that's how it relates to the N word too. It's just like, you know, they might use it amongst themselves and that's fine, but it's just none of your business. You know, you just have to kind of leave that one be. And yeah, I mean, and so the one with spaz, I don't know. I honestly, my sentiments is I feel that's taking it a little bit too far. Um, trying to censor that because it's a very old word. We're talking like Latin and Greek and whatnot. And so, you know, if you want to be super tricky with words, I probably shouldn't say the word sucks anymore. You shouldn't say that sucks because it's referring to fellatio. I mean, so... 
And this was something that my stepmother, um, rest her soul, you know, was was on me about. She's just like, you know, it's not, you know, it's it's a word. So, you know, what is what is the right thing to say? I don't know. I honestly don't. Um, but it's, you know, buyer beware, you know, use, use words with caution. Know, know the meaning of the words that you're going to use and know where they come from and know who they might offend. And, you know, be careful. You know, some something somebody said once, it's like, uh, be careful what you say because you never know who you're talking to. And you don't know what somebody's relationship to the, a certain word could be. It could be very something happened that's very intense you know i've dealt with my own amount of racism and sexism and stuff in my life i I deal with it in present day so it's just like you know you don't know what somebody's been through so just err on the side of caution and just you know yeah mind your p's your q's your n's your g's your s's and whatever other letters you know yeah because we're yeah all supposed to get along as far as i'm concerned so yeah take care of one another love one another and speak nice words if you don't have something better to say than silence then just keep your mouth shut